Hey guys, welcome back. This is Mike from the Ultimate Tech Hub, and this is our new Smart Home Media Center. And you're probably wondering why you can't see the ugly HDMI cables and audio cables coming from the TV. Well, today we're gonna teach you how to hide those ugly wires and cables with a concealed hidden hole inside the eight foot floating desk. Well, let's get started. So here's a quick recap of this 93 inch floating desk. And when you're done watching this video, make sure to watch how we built this media center. There'll be a link right here and one at the end of the video. As we started building the braces for the desk, we went ahead and did a wire drop from the wall mounted TV location to the bottom of the outlet. However, after I installed both wire drop locations, I quickly figured out all those ugly wires and cables would be exposed from the bottom wire drop location to underneath the floating desk. And that's a bad look. It's kind of <laughs> sloppy. Yeah. And since all the wires were already dropped through the wall, it only made sense to cut an additional hole right in the middle of the back 2x4 brace. And that hole would line up where the wires are already dropped. So once I drill the 2 inch hole, theoretically you just grab the wires and pull them through. And don't worry, there'll be a video link right here showing you how to hide wires like a pro. And the only tool you're going to need to do this project is a 2 inch metal hole saw. And then a 2 inch plastic furniture grommet for the finishing touch. I'm going to drill a 2 inch hole right here, through here going into the drywall. I'm gonna add this later as well. But this way I can pull wires through here, like some of these, maybe all of these, but at least a couple of them. For sure, I'll be putting the Bose uh, the fiber cable in there, a couple HDMIs through here under the desk, so you'll never see any of the wiring. Down here we'll keep this, just in case I wanna put a computer right here, we can hook it up or whatever else. But I think it's brilliant, we're gonna do it right here. It's gonna get a little bit messy, but uh, it's a last minute thing, but I think it's really cool, so. Let's do it. Let's do it. And we'll do it right in the center here because it's perfect. All the wires are right here as it is. Bam. Perfect. Let me show you. I'm going to drill that out as well. It'll take two seconds, just drywall. And then I'll just sand this down a little bit with some sandpaper and make it pull wires through here. And you'll, you'll never see it. It's perfect. Genius, genius. All right, let's just do a delicate job here. I'm just barely going in there. big mess over here. So clean this up before the wife gets home. But let me show you. And now I can pull wires through there. There, so there's wires in here. I can pull, start pulling through. So, feel them. Anyways, I can pull them through. Cool. And this is after we pulled all the wires through the hole. Every one of them. We decide to hide all the wires. And here is the finished product. We're all done. No messy wires hanging down. The only two wires that we have are the power wires for the surge protectors and then two ethernet cables going up, but that's it. Well guys, we're all done here. And as usual, I wanna thank you so much for watching. You guys are awesome. And once again, if you liked this video and you found it helpful, please like and share this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video real soon. Peace.